All right, guys, so we've completed everything else. All the worlds are cleared, and it's finally time for us to make our way over to the world that never was. But in order to do that, we have to open up a pathway. Because if we try and just land here in the world that never was... Uh-oh. Looks like a no-go. Gorge! Maybe the gate got stuck or something. See, even by clearing everything else, the pathway is still not open. But, luckily, there's some nonsense over in Twilight Town, so let's head over there. Alright, so this is going to be the last of the gummy ship missions that we're going to have to do. And, okay, so basically, Twilight Town leads directly into the final bat like the final world the world that never was and which is the final world where the final boss is and all that shit so what i'm gonna do is we're going back to twilight town right now uh there's a couple of sections of twilight town that sora was not able to explore the first time we were here when sora first woke up all the way back at the beginning of the game so I guess what we'll do is we'll clear Twilight Town out of all the treasure, do that exploration. Then we're going to travel around and do the five uh, absent silhouette battles. After doing the absent silhouette battles, I guess then we'll head to the old mansion and uh, work our way towards the end of the game here. Although, of course, there still is so, so much to do. Um, but a lot of stuff is actually unlocked. Okay, so this this gummy ship mission is... Uh, shit gets real cray. Basically, let me just, you know, try not to get hit. That's, uh, that's, that's the expert opinion I'm going to throw out here. Um, but yeah, like... So we need to complete Jiminy's journal, or at least, you know, most of it, before I fight Xemnas. Um, you know, we gotta go back to Atlantica. We have to... There is actually a total of eight tournaments at the Olympus Coliseum. Um, I'm going to have to complete all eight, because, you know, we've only completed three so far. But not only that, but there's also high scores you gotta get for the Olympus Coliseum. Um, remember all of those mini games that we did with Roxas way back at the beginning of the game? We have to do all those with Sora, and there's different high scores to get. Like, there's mini games just everywhere. There's the uh, the 13 um, Mushroom Heartless that are like modeled kind of after Organization 13. How there's 13 of those? We have to um, go do all of those. That's going to be its own special episode. Uh, there still is a final drive form we have not gotten yet. Uh, that's a form that you have to unlock. Uh, okay, okay. First, you guys can hop off my nutsack. That'd be cool. Um, but the way to unlock that is not activated until we arrive at the world that never was. So we're going to have to get there before we can activate uh, find the last uh, drive form. Um, we also... Oh, God. Fuck we also still have to um, get our summon gauge filled up to, uh, I believe, 7 is the max level. I think we're only at, like, 4 right now. Because I know before you can even do the very last uh, Olympus Coliseum tournament, you need all drive forms maxed out and all, all the summon maxed out. We still got to finish up the Moogle shit. Like, it's funny that we are basically, like, on our way to the final world, but, like, Really, the amount of stuff left to do is crazy. It, very Final Fantasy uh, X like. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Uh, fuck you all. Fuck. Fuck. I'm trying to think, what other things do we have to do? Um, well, then, of course, there is a. Uh, a whole we yeah we still gotta fight Sephiroth of course can't forget about him. There is a whole slew of 
uh, optional bosses at the end of an optional dungeon in the Radiant Garden. Fuck. And then, of course, there is a Final Fantasy VII, you know, uh, Emerald Weapon style mega super ultimate super duper boss that we can only do after completing the game and doing a whole bunch of other shit. Woo! I think we- oh shit! Alright, now we're moving directly into Sonic Adventure 1 here. That's exactly what that is right there. But we're done so with that. Fuck that shit. Yahoo! We did it! Yeah, thanks you fucking chipmunks, I guess. Thanks. Oh, the High Wind Peak Blueprint. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Oh, Falcon Peak Blueprint. Good amount of uh, treasure. All right, but later, we out of this bitch. It's time to head to Twilight Town and get shit done. Back to Twilight Town we go. Battle level 47, huh? That is not a fucking game. Ah, yes, there's that music we recognize. Hey, I think we're almost there. Huh? Gorge, aren't we here because of the picture? Look. Yeah, it happened so long ago, but remember, the hooded figure who Sora believed to be Riku gave us the picture and the ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, let's go find this mansion. Oh, you mean the mansion we fucking woke up in? Hello? Uh, we already got the... Yes, we did. All of the treasure that's in here. Uh, I think once we handle our business around here, um, we actually will be able to take a train back over to uh, the Mysterious Tower. You know what? Let's rock... Um, Let's use some of these other Keyblades we haven't really gotten a chance to use. We'll use this uh, one we got from Atlantica for a little bit. Man, I can't believe we're at the end of the story already. And it's funny, you guys might have realized that, like, we're at the end of the story, yet basically all of the Organization 13 members... Wow, okay. You fuckers are annoyed. Okay, alright, alright, alright. I'm annoyed now. Oh, shit. Defense and AP. Hey, that's a puzzle piece right there. I see that. Yeah, this Keyblade sucks. I'm going back to the Decisive Pumpkin. Thank you. Yeah, back to the decisive pumpkin we go. I wanted to give it a little try. Okay. Um, next battle we get into, we're gonna do a summon. Okay, so this path has never really been open. Let's hop into here. These little tunnels. We didn't go in here either as Sora or as Roxas. And in case you guys haven't realized already, what we're going to be seeing a fucking hell of a lot of in here is the good old nobodies. Yeah, Peter Pan definitely seems to be the number one uh, summon. Maybe Genie might be a little better once we get his, whatchamacallit, uh, his strongest form, basically. Oh, we can examine that, sure. Yeah, this is just, basically, this is kind of like, um, like a little tunnel system that we could leave, like, this spreads to all of the different, like, pathways around Twilight Town here. 
And I have Peter Pan here, more or less. I'm just trying to level up our summons. Because I did mention how we have to get that to level 7 before... Oh, hello. We're able to do that last Olympus Coliseum tournament. Yes, please, I need more drops. AP boost. Oh, thank you. I do like that pretty much all we're going to be seeing around here is nobodies. Because nobodies, we haven't really had, you know, much chance to see nobodies. By the way, our magic situation, the only Aga we don't have is Magnet. Okay. Uh, ooh, or Halcom. Tinkerbell, thanks, girl. Let's use that AP boost we got. Bam. Uh, Sora's balling so hard with AP right now that pretty soon I, I actually probably could give, like, Donald or Goofy a little bit. Because we're ahead of the game again. Um, yeah, I can give I can give Sword Defender. How about that? One more and we'll be able to go damage control. Okay, this area is a little wonky. Uh, eventually, we're going to be going through there. That will take us to the area where we were exploring the Seven Wonders with uh, Pence and Olette and Hainer and all of them. Alright, there was a level up for our summon gauge, by the way. Okay, we've already went in there. Wait, how much now? 62, oh god. Uh, so in case you guys didn't realize, so the way summons level up, I feel like I must have explained this before. Summons level up, like you see how the little uh, number is 2 in the bottom right there, now just move to 1. Like, you know, that's the drive gauge that's getting used up. As those get used up, that is when, um, that, that counts as one experience point for each level that goes away there. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've explored this entire area. It's a little weird. Oh, you know what? Since I think all the nobodies are done anyway, uh, we can move quickly using the skateboard. Yeah, because we went through there. Uh, the other thing we have to do is, eventually, we're going to have to get all the treasure chests in the game. Gotta fly! Because that is actually a section for completing Jiminy's Journal, believe it or not. Jiminy's Journal is a real motherfucker in this game. The grind is definitely not going to be like Final Fantasy X, because I don't think any game will ever reach the heights of the amount of grinding I had to do to complete that game. Because if you guys remember, like, when I finally finished off Penance and, you know, we took out Jack and finished that game off, you know, the playtime on that was about 200 hours. Uh, while Shining Force 3 is definitely going to end up being the most videos of a game, and Shining Force 3 or Final Fantasy 12 will probably be the most in terms of hours. Just the pure grind. I don't think anything will be able to touch Final Fantasy 10. Because I remember back, back doing that, it's like once we completed all the side quests and everything, uh, we were at, what was it, 101 hours? And I was like, okay, now I just gotta build up, I gotta grind, get money and level up and stuff. And that took us to 191 hours or whatever. Just 90 hours of farming, basically. That is commitment right there, kids. Come on. Okay, so this takes us to this little area right here. This is the Seven Wonders area. Um, there's a few chests around here. Yeah, no, there's gonna be one over here. AP boost. Cool. Um, so I guess we can go ahead and pop damage control on Sora. Uh, this could actually be a big deal 
fighting the absent silhouettes. Um, I'm really not worried about any of them. The only one who may give us a little bit of trouble is Marluxia. Alright, gonna have to head up there in a little bit. Alright, there's a couple chests around here. And I also see that puzzle piece. Yeah, okay, I, I was gonna say, am I going to need Glide for that? And the answer is no. Or Halcom Plus. Alright, oh, there's another one right there. Cool. Uh, I think... Is there a treasure down here? No, because that's just... Okay. There is one over here somewhere. Yeah, here's where that little uh, reflection ended up fucking rocks us up. That part was hilarious. And Pence just walks over like, Oh, geez, so this explains everything. And it's like, uh, no, fucker. Oh, hello. Dad. Ah, we'll just wait till we get Glide. Okay, there's definitely one treasure in here. One more. Where that do? There you are. Mithril Shard. Now that might seem like a small little thing, but remember, we are running quite short on the uh, Mithril Shards. So that is Fabulosa. Okay, nothing. I don't think there's anything in this hill. Yeah, they're talking about the magic train that heads over to the Mysterious Tower. Puzzle piece! Yeah. And there's another one right there! Okay, so I just want to head over to that little uh, sunset station area at the top of this hill over here. And this will complete basically what I wanted to do. Like, we just got a bunch of treasure and stuff. Uh, looks like we're doing good on time. I was wondering how I was going to split these up. I was thinking... Should I put all five in one video? Should I make it separate and have all five fights be their own video? Like, I, I still, like, I have not been... I'm still, right now, not even sure exactly how I want to do it. But let's see here. Well, let's uh, let's just go fuck Zexion up right now. We're ready. All right, so we'll do these in order. Uh, first one we're gonna take down is Zexion. Remember, he is over in the Olympus Coliseum. And for this one, we wanna go to the inner chamber here. Ah, yes, remember there's... Remember those minigames we did with Phil? We still gotta knock those out, too. It's all written down in the journal, so... When we do our Jiminy Journal episode cleanups, we'll be able to follow our progress closely there. Um... Can Orin join in this fight with us? I don't think so. We're not going to need to do any preparation for this. Let me just jump. Let's just jump in there. Let's check it out. No, th this is this is going to be sore, Donald and Goofy. Yeah. 
And here we have Zexion, Mr. Book. Now, remember, this is the exact battlefield that Riku fought him on. It's the Memory of Destiny Islands. Fought him back in uh, Rechain of Memories. Now, since Zexion shows up so early in the game, Olympus Coliseum, I am uh, not expecting a whole lot from my boy here. Okay, so what he does is he'll start trapping people in the books. Um, I really should get Donald and Goofy out of here, but I want to be greedy and get a couple combos in. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's get Goof out of there. Who's that, Donald? Yeah, we got you, Donald. I got you, boy. Fuck, I don't want to... No, get back here. Fuck, no, I keep trying to do the... Whatever, they can chill in the books. No, I keep... Oh, my God, I got I to stop trying to do the little... Uh finishing leap thing. Okay. So here now, we gotta just find the right book. Zexion, where you at? God, I wish I had glide right now. So, when... Oh. Is that him? Fuck. No, get over there. I like how uh, Goofy and Donald are actually kind of... Oh, I think that's it right there. Yeah, there you are. I got you, boy. No, get back. Fuck you. Alright, Zexian, you're getting fucked up right now. Oh, what? What the hell is that? Shit. Is this gonna put us in the part? Nope, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four. Whoa! No! Oh, I count! My count was off! Fuck! So, that does, um... That light shines 13 times, and then he, you know, basically summons Meteor there. Oh, my count. How, how can I count wrong? I'm a fucking scrub. Oh, great. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, did he? Re okay. He can also do this thing where he fucks up your commands, but... Looks like I'm, I'm okay there. He hasn't done that. Yo, Ze sexy and chill, man. Cure! As soon as I can land. There we go. Okay. That's gotta be sexy and right there. Nope. Shit. Retrieve. There it is. Oh, sexy and man, you gotta stop with the, all the explosions and craziness! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Fuck, fuck. No! I counted wrong again. Look, this. You wanna talk about scrub level activator right now. No. Oh, God. One of these days, we'll get Glide, and this will be a lot easier. Get in there. God, Zexion has some powerful-ass magic, and he's so close. All I gotta do is just get out of this fucking book, and this is over. Oh, God. Oh, that's it, right? Damn it! And I heard that little son of a bitch laughing like a motherfucker, too. Okay, I gotta stop getting knocked up. I got you, goo. As soon as I land... Oh, sexy and I just can't escape from this fucking book. Where the fuck? Suck my dick, sexy in. Ugh. I might actually go limit for him here. Oh my god, if I fuck this up one more time. All right, we good. Nope. You're a Zexian. What now, bitch? It is fucking over. Oh, I missed. 
Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. No! No, what? God damn it! I gotta find- Oh, shit. Nope. You're not getting free this time, bitch. Sexian. That took a little longer than I thought it was gonna, but hey, hey, we good. You know what I'm thinking of? I don't know if I want the ethers. Because I, I feel like six high potions might be good. Yeah, each one of these absent silhouettes, they give us a recipe for synthesis, and they also give us a lost illusion, which is an extremely rare synthesis material. Alright, so that is the first one taken down. Uh, the next one we're gonna go to is in Port Royal. We're gonna go say hello to Larkscene. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We're good. Yeah, let's go.